Kevin, you want to know if there's any new technology that can detect motorcycles other than the wire and the ground? We call those inductive loops. Right now I'm working on a disconnect panel for some lighting that we have out here on a bridge. And I know everything looks a little rough in here. That's because we're reusing all the equipment from the old enclosure and just swapping out this enclosure we have here. We have a 480 disconnect. So you got two hots and one ground. And this stuff is seriously old. But let me go ahead and answer your question. And yes, a big part of my job is upgrading those inductive loops to something like radars or cameras that pick up motorcycles just fine. Some of the issues and why you may not see every city just upgrading detection to radars and cameras is because those units usually cost around $5,000 to up to $15,000 a piece. And you also have to have skilled technicians that are working on it. And usually the cities just won't keep guys around long enough to keep trained technicians. Now we're for a small family owned contractor and we install, troubleshoot, and program all of this equipment on a day-to-day -day basis. So without the funding and a proper trained tech, loops have been around for decades and decades. They're super simple to work on and the cost to recut them and fix them is pennies compared to upgrading to radars or cameras. So that's why you still see them a lot in cities. I will say that we do a lot more work on radars and cameras than we do on inductive loops nowadays. So hopefully in the near future, those intersections near you get upgraded and you don't have to worry about that anymore. Thanks for watching.